Hey guys, I let my eye fall on another operating system I'd like to install. It's Peppermint. I spared you the complete installation procedure, which is a basic Calamaris install, no, nothing advanced, just the normal options. And let's try to get ChatWM on there, Arcalix ChatWM, and uh, see if that works as well. Everything started with a comment of a user saying, Oh, Arch broke my system one time too much. And yes, we'll always have updates. And yes, there will always be things that will break. And I tell you, wait three days, right? And it's fixed. On what operating system can we say truly that after three days it's fixed, right? None of the official that we pay money for. Anyway. We are looking around and saying, okay, I'd like to move to something else, but what then? We've seen Ubuntu and ChatWM works fine. Linux Mint Ubuntu works fine. Debian was not able to install it on VirtualBox, so whatever, skipped it. MX Linux, all fine. And now we have Peppermint OS with this as design. And look, let's have a look at some applications. Maybe we recognize a few things in here or are wondering maybe i should install this maybe kumo libra wolf what's all that look it up and see if you can like it if it's something for you p top h block x daily what's in here right we're here for well an update let's see that's in okay so sudo apt upgrade so the idea is there is no more arch we need to go to something else and we've tried some debian distros then um sudo let's see if git is works git sure so git is there make me a directory of data move to data and in there git clone https well, a little bit bigger HTTPS, where is my double point? Here. Okay, github.com, the column, eh? Get.com, um, Eric Dubois, run, and now Arclinx Nemesis. Let's use the code from Linux Mint, for example. If you compare the two of them, you'll see that they're pretty much the same, some differences. And here as well, we'll discover some differences. So it's hidden away very deep. This is the Ubuntu. Where is the U? Just type U. Ubuntu is here. And just type M. And Mint ChatWM is here. I don't know which one will be best. The only way to know that is by running everything. Let's go for a quick and all in one installation. And basically, it's going to get everything in a certain order. First install, install ChatWM, then the application with sudo apt install, then the snap applications. If there is a course error K70, the package will be installed, otherwise not. Design is icons and themes. Local apps are not there. And personal configuration are my personal settings. I'd like to change an overall whatever Deviant I'm on. So let's um, wait for this to finish. What we can do is an intermediate something. I think Arch is already the, although Dex, no, maybe not. Let's just wait till it finishes. I just wanted to say you can run them one by one, right? And just install ChatWM, then log out, go to ChatWM and start working in ChatWM. That's the only thing I wanted to stop. But we're already in GIMP, so everything is going super fast. But let's just pause and then log out and log in. Well, with all these packages, shut down and reboot. See you in a bit. Here's something to talk about. Package virtual box has no selection candidate. That means that whatever this is, 
I need to find out what it actually is the correct name. Virtual, nothing happens. There's no autocomplete. I did not make a, cop a mistake here. Don't think so. So we go apps install Firefox. Right, it's working. There's no installation candidate as well. Okay, strange. So VirtualBox was not installed, simple as that. So it's not available, but it's referred to by another package. Now I've learned, and that's the fun, when you go to something else like this, that there are in here preferences where you can say, I don't want this particular application to install, I don't want this particular application to be installed. So you can put it in here, but there is nothing in there. Right, so not sure why VirtualBox is not available here. Or maybe there is some kind of um, check what I do as well, right? If you're on VirtualBox, it doesn't make sense to install VirtualBox. That's this check I do manually. That's Sublime Text. Yeah, I would like to have that. sudo apt install Sublime Text. Now, if that doesn't work, maybe there's Snap. Snap is already installed. Install Subl. Let's see Sublime Text. Uh, yeah, so this would work. It's the same as I think was Ubuntu that says I want this to, well, I want to install it, not via the regular sudo apt install, but via snap. And that's why we have these snap things. So in the case of um, peppermint, we need here, app snap. We need basically to tell them, go down, go down, Brave, Colorwall, Co, Discord, Gitkrack, and Opera, Spotify, Telegram, Desktop, Vivaldi, and also Sublime Text need to be installed with Snap. So now I can do, finally, I can do a right mouse click, open with, nope, it's not there, set default. There is no Sublime Text. Pseudo Snap installed, so is installed, they say. It's time to reboot, I guess. So these are these small things and 90%, if not 99% will be installed. Lots of packages, lots of choices, my choices, but you have a look what you like. And maybe you say, don't want it. So Brave is installed, Visual Studio is installed, Git Kraken is installed, Opera is installed, Spotify. It's all in the Snap Store. Lots of things coming from Debian, Bookworm, VLC stuff, Telegram desktop. So that means we are in this line actually. No, no sublime te text yet. Spotify Vivaldi is the last one. Telegram still. In the meantime, let's look around a little bit more. Let's maybe go to settings. Appearance is always fun. Let's have a look at folders and files and colors. We are looking at it all the time, right? Let's pause the video. At the end, everything 
well it's installed we here even have H block so the ads and tracking and all that is covered we don't have issues with it that's what we mean of course reboot see the reboot oh. <laughs> always different as long as we can reboot right peppermint it's 6.1 6.1 that's strange Control T Control T NeoFetch 6.10 I thought so okay Control F let's log in so this is peppermint we want to disable the auto start and so we don't see this and then we're gonna log out probably this log out and then we choose something different eh? so where can we do that up here chat wm login and there you are wait for the bar yes the bar is there the wallpapers are there it's um virtual box meaning pycom is not transparent but it is transparent on real metal so that's cool and here we have uh, your update will work so sudo apt upgrade is now update and alias so we've we're on fish that's why it's green and green and if you still want to have some more stuff with fish then ctrl a ctrl c go to the dot config there's the fish folder ctrl v replace all close open up again and there you are so it's a bit different the prompt now cd ls where are we okay cd artex nemesis so this is how it looks now all right because of my copy paste things have changed and this is a little bit of design all right there you go yes new fetch let's see we are on peppermint and yes we can have chat wm on peppermint it's not perfect in the sense we need to figure out some applications probably but the goal is just to make a video there you know all right i can have this particular tiling window manager on peppermint on linux mint on Ubuntu, on Linux, on, on MX Linux, and voila, all right? It's Debian, it's Arch, and in, if you find the proper packages, the correct packages, and you can have your own chat WM on any of these Debian-based systems. All right, cheers.